Heneheroa. Paradaitu. Really paradise. That's heaven on earth, right there. This ship has something magical about it. The wow experience. This is completely luxurious. Your worries just disappear. The Ie Tomato Utuafari. There's a kindness here, a sense of warmth, a beauty that you don't feel other places. Oh, it's uh, magnificent. It's like a different world. You go home with a beautiful memory. You feel pampered all day long, you know. It's a wonderful place. Maeva. It's hypnotizing. When you arrive in French Polynesia, it's so dramatic and it's so beautiful, you quickly become enthralled with the islands. We've been working with the Port Rougain for 12 years, from the very first cruise, so it was a natural step for us to acquire the ship. One of the great things about our ship is the way we can get into all the little nooks and crannies and bays and lagoons. And we are born to be here. Yeah, I think it's the right size, large enough to offer a luxury cruise experience, small enough to really fit in close to all of the private, intimate little bays. So you can really feel the, the nature here. You can get right down next to the water with the uh, aft marina deck. And of course, you can snorkel, board on a, on a surf. We have excellent diving team who take you really to a few of the best places in the world to dive. I think that people everywhere are looking for a place where they can come and be themselves. This is a place where the stresses of the world fall away. You get back in touch with the things that are most important to you. Uh, French Polynesia is home for me. I've lived here for 25 years, so this is definitely home. In terms of music and dance, we have the Gauguins on board, which are beautiful and incredibly talented young women. The Gauguins uh, are such an important facet of life on board, and the way you introduce some aspects of Tahitian folklore and and life in Tahiti with, uh, with the guests. But we are really enjoying too what we are doing. It's really sharing our life. I love to share and show the people the story of my islands, the culture and all the activity, dance and sport. We have several Tahitian activity on board and which you don't find anymore in the islands. What I love the most is to see the big smile on their face the happiness when we share our life, our culture. Polynesia is a place where the senses take over. Grant, this is great. I love the way we weave Polynesian flavors into our dishes, especially for Polynesian night. Uh, what is this, a mahi-mahi? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a mahi-mahi caught locally with a banana caramelized polenta. Bananas from Bora Bora with a green bok choy, which is grown here in Morea. It's one of my favorites. Oh, it's fantastic. I think our guests are expecting a high quality of service, a high standard of food, international styles of cuisine, and just a, a good variety. We have uh, three different restaurants offering all three different cuisines. A French menu in La Veranda, and also the Polynesian with the Asian influence in the grill. La Toile, it's more of an international style cuisine with uh, changing menus daily. It's 
very relaxed, very casual. You know, there's no pressures to try and be somebody different than what you are. Way to go, guys. It's great. Makes me hungry just looking at it. <laughs> the Paul Gauguin has a, a long legacy of excellence. And of course, Condé Nast Traveler has uh, consistently listed us among the top rated uh, small luxury cruise ships in the world. The Paul Gauguin is great value for money. You know, guests really enjoy the all-inclusive nature of the ship because they don't have to be signing for things all the time. They really feel relaxed and they feel they can thoroughly enjoy the ship. Leave the money issues Exactly. At home. I have many people say when they go home, this has been the happiest experience of my life. And it's, it's a remarkable thing that people would say that. And all-inclusive is, is really all-inclusive. Uh, yes. Uh, Virtually everything, including tips even, and... And the marina. And the marina, all activities off of the marina deck. Uh, you know, we had the snorkeling and the, the windsurfing. Some great activities, you know. We have our naturalist program. We have our ambassador of the environment program for the children. We have Jean-Michel Cousteau who comes on board. We also have our private beaches in Bora Bora, and we have our famous uh, Motu Mahana in Taha. It has uh, one of the most extraordinary uh, snorkeling sites. You teach somebody a, a new uh, experience, you know, it's, uh, you, you kind of touch them, you know. When they go, wow, that's what I like. One of the most astonishing things that we have here in the islands is, is the underwater world. These are very delicate marine ecologies. They, they need to be protected. Pacific Beachcomber has been devoted to sustainable development since before it became fashionable to talk about. We have voluntary green teams in each of our hotels, and we operate a turtle clinic here in Morea. We are also the world pioneer in the use of seawater for air conditioning, which is in place at our hotel in Bora Bora, the Thalasso Intercontinental. We don't inherit uh, the earth from our parents. We borrow it from our children. Humans have, a, have an abiding need to discover and visit remote places. It's really not that far. Two hours more than Hawaii there's so much more Polynesia for those two hours. Just sitting there and watching the nature, the colors, it's fantastic for me. It's amazing. <laughs> it's, it's a beautiful experience. It's a journey you have to do in your lifetime. It's like an untouched paradise. I'm still spellbound sometimes. You really connect with people on a ship this size. And people come back year after year now because they want to recapture that special moment. The ship has a real soul, it's just beautiful, just uh, beautiful.